What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and in this video we're going to be going over how to screenshot on the new mobile G3 Plus. So without further ado, let's get started. So to screenshot something, all you have to do is of course make sure it's pulled up on the device here and then you're going to hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time until this screen comes up here. Now we do have a variety of different options. So we have full, crop, draw, cut, and long. So if you want to go with full, all you have to do is tap on OK and it saves it as a full screenshot. No problem there. Now for the second option, crop, you can tap on that and you can crop it however you want. You can tap on OK then to save that cropped image. Then you can do another screenshot. You can go over to draw and basically you can draw on your image that you're going to screenshot. You can erase it as well if you want to. And when you're good and happy with that, you can tap on OK. Then for the next option, you can go to cut. So if there's a certain shape that you want to save, tap on OK and it saves that shape. And then finally, for the last option, this is if you want to scroll. So if you want to do a long screenshot, you can tap on long. And basically it will scroll on your screen and capture pretty much everything during that scrolling process. Now it's a little weird to do that on the home screen here, but if you were in the web browser and you wanted to try this out, then you would get everything that's on that screen in the web browser. So that's really cool. So once you've taken those screenshots, you can go into your app drawer, go over to photos, and go, go into your screenshots folder, and you'll see all of your screenshots there. And then from there, you can share these wherever you wanna share them, or there's also enhanced editing options down here where you can make a variety of different edits. You can add different filters, kind of like how you can on Instagram. You can also go to this button right here and you can change the lighting, you can change the color, the pop. And there's even more options within those options. So for color, you can change the saturation, warmth, tint, skin tone, and the deep blue level. For light, you can also change the exposure, contrast, whites, highlights, shadows, blacks, and vignette. So that's really awesome. And then you can save that as a separate copy. Also, if you want to rotate the image or do yet another crop here, you can do both of those through this button over here. You can also rotate based on a precise degree that you want to rotate it to. And you can reset it to the default. But when you're done with everything, you can just tap on done save a copy, and then it saves a copy of that image. So this is just a quick look at how to screenshot on the new mobile G3+. Plus. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it to be helpful. Now, if you're still planning on buying the new mobile G3+, Plus, I'd definitely appreciate if you buy it through my Amazon affiliate link, which is in the video description. Buying it through that link will give me a cut of the sale, but it won't cost you anything at all. So it's a great way to support the channel and to support the work that I do. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.